Hello, welcome, Cavage here. In War of the Visions, we are going to go into the Chamber of Arms, and uh, this video will just be kind of a, a first look, look at how it is uh, set up, uh, look at the uh, the buttons and whatever. Uh, later, I'll put up videos of clears, and then maybe look at the uh, stuff that we can unlock, and then talk about uh, how I feel about the whole game mode. All right, but I have logged in, and then here's a uh, Moogle saying, hey you, you look strong. Let's go to the Vortex. Do I want the explanation? Sure. All right. So there is a new thing here. We'll top on that with a new character that we don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. One battle, we can use multiple parties, all right. Uh, if the first party goes down, we use the next, and the battle continues. All right, new enemies will appear and aim for the last wave. And if we clear the waves, we will get the, uh, the what is it, the great equipment? And we can get stuff to upgrade the equipment. Alright, this is pretty much just saying what we just uh, were told here. And let's see, make two parties. Okay. If all parties are taken down, then we return to wave one. Okay. And we can unlock the stuff. Great. Okay, let's head in. Oh, let's turn on the music, actually. Let's see if there is... special music for this new game mode. Alright, let's head in. Story quest, prologue. Uh, let's look at this magnifying glass. I think this is all similar to what we were looking at before. Aha! This is stuff talking about what the uh, blood sword and the uh, Genji's glove will do. I'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, let's see, all right. So here it gives uh, details about what uh, is going on in each wave, and they give details 1 through 10. And uh, recommended uh, unit levels and job levels. And let's see, for the wave 1, light element units will be useful. Uh, and then waves 2 and 3, it recommends units are level 99, job level 15. And then uh, magic attacks will do well, and then it recommends earth units and then stop resistance. Uh, waves 4 and 5, unit levels 107, job level 20. Uh, again, recommends magic attacks, and then fire element units, and then confusion resistance. Uh, let's see, and it says that there's a big difference in the uh, elevations in the map, so units with high jump or uh, projectile attacks will be useful. Okay, uh, wave 6 and 7, Unit levels 115, job level 22. Uh, slash attacks or projectile attacks will be good. Also dark element units. And let's see, reflect from the Carbuncle Esper. Uh, we will fight against them, so be careful of that. <laughs> and then there is a um, Kodoa. A oh, crawler, maybe? Which will absorb HP from you at uh, short distance. So be careful about that. And then waves 8 through 10 will uh, require units level 120, job level 25, slash attacks, and then ice element will be useful. Also light element units, and then freeze and confusion resistance. Interesting, okay. So let's just do wave one here. We want uh, light element units. And then we got the prologue. Uh-huh. Looks like the uh, porcelain tower. 
waiting for the uh, light or the uh, crystal warriors. All right, here's Lucio. <laughs> and the Mughal's like, oh, where's June and uh, Setia? Are you the, uh, the new kid here? All right, I guess I have no choice but to trust you, Lucio. Okay, he's gonna explain stuff again. All right, we can go through and get the uh, the great equipment. Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. <laughs> I guess that's the uh, the new character. Come here and then explain what's going on. She says it's the first time she's ever met someone. That's weird. So some people were guessing that she was going to be the character to explain what's going on. I'm kind of sad that it's not uh, Ramada, but oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to translate everything they're saying. Okay, story quest. Ugh, more dialogue. <laughs> Hopefully they put as much effort into the actual uh, battle experience as they did uh, this part here. Oh my god, some wolves! <laughs> Pretty thrilling. Alright, we're finally gonna enter battle here. Okay, wave quest, finally. Okay, so... Looking at wave one here, we can see already that they will uh, give you the uh, blood sword and the, uh, the Genji glove. And uh, some mysterious golden pyramid thing and some gems. All right. Uh, looks like it's made parties for me already. Let's have a, a quick look. Uh, sure. Let's just go with uh, what they made for me. And then let's put auto battle on. I'm not expecting this to be very difficult. Uh, we'll do one and a half speed. Animations on. And then uh, let's keep track of like um, what kind of abilities people are using. Also, it'll be interesting to see like how far the uh, used abilities will be. Um, kind of kept track of. So let's go through this wave one. There's a track blade. And then uh, before we head into wave, or let's go into the beginning of wave two and then see uh, if uh, these skills will carry over. There's my Tina. <laughs> Really haven't used her. A little bit after uh, Final Fantasy VI, that collaboration, my uh, motivation to play PvP uh, dropped off. So yeah, the Final Fantasy VI characters are kind of... They suffer from bad timing. And Agrius never used her at level 120, so... <laughs> that is something there. Okay, drain. Engelbert, he's got the monk. Oh yeah, and I'm assuming that um, since it's asking for different elements on different floors, we will be able to change the teams and so maybe also change uh, sub jobs. And so even if the uh, like the number of uses 
her skills uh, for sub job stays, we can change sub jobs and then uh, get more use out of people. Okay, so uh, we got the uh, blood sword and the uh, Genji glove. Uh, that is wave one done. This uh, red button down here, uh, it says uh, save your progress and exit. So I guess you could go and like do some farming or something. And then the uh, purple button down here, go to the next wave. So let's do that. Let's see how much uh, carries over. Oh, okay. So we're not going to get the uh, the button. Let's uh, turn off auto battle. Let's check the uh, skills. Let's see if anything is uh, used up or carried over from the previous wave. Okay, let's check Agrius. Uh, let's see. Aha. So this has been used once. This is carrying over. And then Attract Blade. This is also carrying over. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, since this is wave two of three, let's go all the way through. Uh, let's finish wave three. Let's start at wave four and let's see if the skills, uh, amount of skills carry over. So, yeah, we'll put this on uh, times three speed. This shouldn't be too difficult. And I might just cut to the end of wave three, see uh, what happens there. But uh, Agrius and Engelbert, they are taking some damage, actually. Okay, but there's the uh, Revenge Drain, I think it was. Alright, we'll summon Fenrir. We'll also check and see if that uh, carries over. Alright, stun, that's nice. Alright, but so far the maps just looks like the uh, same old, same old as usual. And uh, yeah, just a big bunch of little guys. But thankfully, no generic human guys. Those are the ones that inspire me the least. <laughs> Okay, Sleep Blade. Actually, let's turn off auto again. I want to pick up these crystals with my characters, get some healing in there. Alright, let's see what happens if I pick up this crystal with Agrius. It's a green one. HP. Okay. Merton. Okay, uh, no more crystals, although it does look like Fenrir can be summoned again. No, it can't, okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll do the auto battle from now. Okay, so there goes wave two. Oh, okay, and it's just throwing us immediately into wave three, fine. Let's let it run, actually. Let's see if some of my guys get KO'd. If they will be available for 4 and 5, which is on a different map. And it looks like within one wave there are not more guys appearing. So like what you see at the beginning of a wave is what you get for the entire thing. All right, so the recommended levels, it was like 50 for the first one, and then, uh, what was it, 79, 80 for the uh, subsequent waves. Uh, but we are seeing that my level 120 characters are being taken down. So I will have to pay attention to, like, elements or, like, attack types. Okay, so there is my first team down. Let's see what happens. Okay, here comes my second team. And I am assuming because it's a different map, once we clear this wave three, that will end it. Oh, there's my new Sephiroth. <laughs> All right, there's Jum. She got her uh, second mastery ability today. Okay. 
Good old Rain. Still one of my uh, favorite characters to use in this game. Pow, okay. Alright, so that's wave three. Quest clear, it says. Alright, congratulations. Okay, wave two and three clear. So this gets its own screen. Oh, I get the uh, rainbow antler there. That's nice. Uh, let's hit this red button. Let's quit out. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, Lucio says, oh, we got some rare equipment. These are the uh, the treasured uh, equipment. Uh, there's great power hidden in them. Uh, even if you can't use them, Lucio, somebody else can use them. <laughs> Okay, so looking here on the left, I have cleared uh, waves one through three. Uh, let's see, aha, I cannot hit this uh, party uh, creation, so I guess I do have to use these two parties all through wave 10. Ooh, okay, so this looks kind of tough. So this might actually reward uh, playing manual from the very beginning. Uh, partly because I have to uh, save skills for later. Very interesting. So when I'm looking at the hints here, which are laying out what is happening uh, through all the waves and then all of the uh, recommended uh, elements and stuff, maybe I need to be uh, aware of this from the very beginning. Okay. So... Interesting, interesting. I'm not going to say it's fun yet, but that is interesting. Uh, so yeah, probably what I'm going to have to do is just die in the next waves and then uh, start from wave one again and then pay real attention uh, to the, uh, the team building that I got. All right, I think that'll do for a good uh, first look at the game mode. Uh, later, hopefully, I can uh, get clears of the, uh, the higher waves and then uh, talk about it. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.